So there have been a lot of initiatives along the way that have been exciting and expensive and important to our members and it's been uh, rewarding to be part of that. I like co-ops. I've worked with two different co-ops and, and you know they really are the epitome of democracy. I like giving back to the community. I was uh, raised in Alaska. I was raised down on the Kenai Peninsula. And I just feel like giving back is the right thing to do. If we don't have access to power, the economy in Anchorage doesn't move. So it's been fascinating to feel like you're part of something really important. Well, it's at a point in my life where I had some time that I felt I needed to give back to the community I live in. I feel like at this point in my life, I have the opportunity and the time to serve uh, my community. And I know the price and the reliability of electricity is important to our members, both individually and businesses. School teachers say that that's their chance to touch the future and we make huge decisions that are going to touch future generations. This is my chance to touch the future. I'm a lawyer and I can listen to what individual board members have to say and understand what their concerns are and help them reach a consensus. I feel um, that my background in uh, process safety engineering and just the technical uh, background in general would be an asset to the board as well as diversity from a member perspective. I was really blessed to have some mentors that taught me finance and banking. That allowed me to go and do expert testimony on finance and bring that up to Alaska. I spent my entire career working in the oil and gas industry as an engineer. I'm a businesswoman. I had an engineering company for a long time that I ran and I think my background really lends itself to being a good board member. For the last 40 years, working years of my life, I built a lot of powerhouses and was involved in the, the uh, energy industry. Also, being in the, the legislature gave me some background on how all the politics of it works. I'm not afraid to ask a lot of questions, ask for details, and get to the bottom of it. The conversations that are going to happen in the Chugach boardroom over the next couple of years are going to be really important for carrying the organization forward. So I think being able to ensure the right kinds of conversations happen, the right kind of information comes out is going to be important. I'm an electrical engineer licensed in Alaska and have been in the power industry throughout my career. The board never forgets who we represent. We survey the members every single year and what comes across every year is that people care about reliability and they care about service and they care about rates and we work very hard to make sure that we respond to those concerns. Of course, price, reliability, service, but um, sustainability is something that we're hearing on from our members. My number one priority as a board member and when I'm making decisions is to do the things that are in the best interest of the membership. I just had my first grandkid a couple of weeks ago. I, I have to, to um, look to, to her future as well and to make Chugach sustainable for ongoing generations. That's what I always try to think of. How we incorporate membership participation in our big decisions, how we make sure that our committees reflect the diversity that is Chugach and making sure that we have great annual meetings with lots of opportunities for members to stay informed, that's gonna be really important. The two big things really focus on the future and focus on the members. The one primary driver for me is our members and who are our owners and a very important one is our community. I love working with my fellow board members. I think that everybody's heart is in the right place. I think everyone makes decisions based on what's best for the organization but what's best for the members and the community in general.